Howdy folks, Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Thanks for tuning in to our Christmas in July special. And happy 4th of July, by the way. Nothing says 4th of July like lighting off a few firecrackers. Seeing them explode over the downtown area or in your own driveway. What do we have here, you ask? Firecracker lights for Christmas. So these here are firecracker lights and we got these from Creative Displays and we did an unboxing video a few days ago about this. And one thing I said then that, that reigns true now is these uh, do have the feel and the look that reminds me of the Ladyfinger firecracker lights when I was growing up as a kid. So I thought that was kind of kind of neat. Uh, I'm gonna unplug these for a second. Uh, they're a little bit, little bright there, uh, but these are three millimeter bulbs. These are my first experience with three millimeter bulbs, and like I mentioned in the unboxing video, my original intent of purchasing these because I got a case, um, got all, got twelve of these bad boys, and the original intent was to replace the. Um, uh, big box store fairy lights that I had uh, hanging on my pergola. These are commercial grade and I wanted something if it says it's going to be outside year round. I wanted something, uh, well, I wanted a better product, which is what this is. Um, I'll tell you right off the bat, I instantly love these things, especially in the unboxing video. Love these things and for what they are, they're, they're perfect. They just are, they're a great product. For what I wanted to use them for, unfortunately it can't be done. And, and here's the problem um, that I found, and maybe I'm wrong here, but um, I don't believe, because this plugs into the power source. You know what, I say that, and, and what I'm getting to is I don't think I can daisy chain these, but maybe I'm wrong, so let's open up another box. And I uh, should have done this off camera and apologize, but I, was, I convinced myself that it couldn't be done. And yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't right. I wasn't wrong there. Um, but these plug into the power source and they have this cool uh, plug-in system that everybody's kind of going to, um, which it plugs in and then you screw it on. And all your commercial grades, which is what these are, are going to pretty much have these. And I'm having a heck of a time trying to figure out how to daisy chain these because I need about 120 feet uh, to serpentine through the pergola um, when I purchased them. Uh, but I don't see a way to daisy chain them because um, they don't have anything on the end of these. If I can get to the end. Um, so yeah, when they, when they finish, they just kind of, well, they just stop. Um, which so I can't use them for what I intended to purchase them for which is not I didn't intend to use them for uh, my Christmas light show I wasn't going to animate them or anything um, but just for and they're, they're 15 feet long kind of give you the specs they're 15 and a half feet long uh, they are UL rated for outdoor and indoor use both uh, so these will do fine outside um, they have the system where if one light goes out, they'll all stay lit. And I've been using lights from Creative Displays not quite a decade, but several years. And I've never had a single bulb go out in any of the products I've gotten for them, which is why I keep going back to the company because they have, they have high quality products. Uh, these are commercial grade with one inch spacing. Now, we've gotten that why I can't use them out of the way. Um, let me show you what they, what they do. They have eight different settings. And I've seen uh, ones like this that will have four or five settings. This is my first experience with having one that has eight settings. And they are pretty neat. And uh, I'm not quite sure how the camera will, will take it. Because sometimes the camera doesn't, doesn't like the, uh, the, flicky, the flicky. Flicky is not a word. Uh, flickering lights. Um, but this is the first setting. So that's one. Here's two. And that kind of, to me, first impression kind of gives... A bit of a fireplace glow, you know. You got your ambers. You're sitting outside at night. You got your you got your favorite beverage in hand. You got your fire pit going. Just kind of that that mellow glow, um, you know. When everybody's just kind of sitting around. As soon as I say that, it goes into a different pattern. So okay, and now it's speeding up. And I did not when I did the unboxing video. I didn't. I just kind of brushed through them. I didn't take the time to actually 
give each setting a, a few seconds to, to go through its stuff. So, gradually, so setting two gradually goes into a campfire warmth feeling and then it fast paces different stuff and then it picks up the pace and then it, it doesn't repeat. This isn't, this isn't quite the campfire setting. I don't know. Huh, something new. Let's go to number three. Okay, number three kind of gives off that, that faster campfire glow. And when I was getting to a minute ago, it, it kind of reminded me when you're sitting outside with a campfire, you got your favorite beverage in hand. Um, everybody's just kind of talking, just listening to the fire crackling. That's kind of what it reminded me of. Peaceful night in your backyard. Okay, so this is setting three. Let's go to setting four. Kind of blinking off and on. So this one comes on. You know, I wonder if this is not in a, we spread these out more linear. Because I wonder if these are not in this current setting, if I can find the end of them. Um, so they're 15 feet long. So I got a little bit to work with here. All right, there we go. I wonder if these are not going right down the proverbial line. Let's find out. And they are not. They're just going on and off next to his corresponding neighbor. All right. So let's go to, let's try setting five, I believe we're on now. Right, we're still on setting four. Setting four is doing different stuff now. Now it's kind of given that Las Vegas marquee and now it's going back to blinking. So it does have different settings. And then the instruction on the box, it didn't come with any instruction manual. So you just kind of, I'm learning as you're learning. Uh, since there are no instruction manuals that come in the box, it doesn't advertise what patterns they do. So it's trial by error. Okay, so let's try number five. I believe we're on setting five now. So we are getting a slow fade in, a slow fade out uh, to the same lights. So about every other light is on right now. Slow fade in, slow fade out. Okay, now it's alternating. And we're gonna give that just a second to see if it does anything else that's kind of neat. Um, what the practical uses, and I have a case of these that I, I, I just won't use um, because I, I can't use them in my show because I can't animate them because they are on this, uh, they have a built-in controller. Um, so cause some cr come Christmas time, they'll probably turn into Christmas presents for people. So, um, and what I see the practical use of this is indoor uh, use for your holiday decoration. You're, you're throwing stuff up for, uh, you get your Santa Claus over here and your elf on the shelf over there. You're decorating inside. And I see these maybe strung around a doorway, um, maybe put them in a mason jar in the kitchen um, and just have them on. Maybe do some neat, neat uh, DIY or arts and, craft, arts and crafts with these firecracker Christmas lights. Um, that's what I will use them for here, and I'll probably, Mom, if you're watching, spoiler alert, you already know your Christmas present, or one of them. Let's try the setting number seven. Okay, setting number seven. We've got some faster pace, some blinking, some alternating blinking. Um, and at the end of this video, I'll, I'll re record these slides doing all these different features, and I'll put it like a 30 second clip or a 60 second clip at the end of uh, this video so you guys can see all the different settings in the dark turn the lights off okay so that just kind of blinks on and off kind of does some neat little patterns um i think this is setting eight now might be seven seven or eight and this is just a fade in fade out Let's see what else if anything does so happy fourth of july i hope you guys are if you are watching this on the fourth practice some safety with the, with the legit fireworks. Don't lose an eye or anything silly like that. So um, I got out of the volunteering to be the guy who lights the firecrackers a long time ago. Especially when you have one person who's real, oh, let me load it for you, talking about mortars. And they put it in upside down and that, no. So I've retired from, light, from lighting legit firecrackers. This is as firecrackery as I get. 
course, the snaps that throw on the ground. Nobody's ever too old to have fun with those. Um, and then we'll push it again. Okay, so this must be a setting and break because they're not all the way on. And the last setting is, or the first setting is when they're just on. So you're gonna have some different patterns here, do some different stuff. And there's the on um, setting again. So, uh, do I recommend them? Absolutely. Are they high quality? Yes, they're 15 and a half feet long, so it'll get you the, the better part of a doorway. You can do some neat stuff with it. Um, I wouldn't, they, they're not able to daisy chain them, unfortunately. Um, I did reach out to uh, Creative Displays uh, to see if, they, if there's any super secret way of, of daisy chaining these that I'm not immediately seeing, and I haven't heard back from them yet. I just emailed them, uh, I think last night or yesterday, so. It's not surprising, um, but uh, I happen to hear something back and there's some super cool way to daisy chain these that, are, that is factory recommended, then I'll absolutely put that in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions that I'm just not seeing, uh, throw that on there for me so I can educate myself. And as always, you can reach us at christmasoncrestline at gmail.com. Hope you're enjoying the, enjoying the new logo and the new uh, intro videos and outro videos. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching another Christmas in July episode. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode, which I believe are going to be the, um, can't remember what they're called, Starburst. We're gonna be doing the Starburst video next. So those are really neat indoor um, a lit attraction, I guess I'll say, for lack of a better phrase, but they're kind of neat. Uh, kids are going to love those. I think they'll be real popular amongst families at Christmas time. So watch that next review next. So happy 4th of July. Be safe tonight, guys. Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Thanks for watching, guys. And that'd be my son, Jack, who's interrupting our filming. Come here, Jack, you know the rules. You interrupt, you have to come say hi. Duck down, you're too tall. Wave to the folks. Say hi, Jack. Hi. Say hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Bam. <laughs>